Ask Reddit by Global Shaft. Identical twins of Reddit who owns a pet after living separately. What was your pet's reaction when it saw two owners? My identical twins dog has never acted to me in a way that implied that he was confused. The human babies are a different story. Human babies make it so obvious too by wagging their tails. Our dog can easily tell them apart. Little children cannot. It's got to be a sense thing mostly, I'd guess. I actually read a sad story about this a few years ago on Quora. A guy's identical twin brother had died and he inherited his brother's dog. The dog did not think the twin was his owner. Except, one day he happened to put on one of his deceased brother's pants. The dog came up to him and immediately started doing the wiggly happy dance until he spoke, and then it was a light switch turned off and he became a barely tolerated stranger again. It was actually kinda heartbreaking to read. Could you imagine the horror show that dog was living in? Move to a new home, with an owner who looks just like his owner, but didn't smell like him? And suddenly he does smell like him, but doesn't sound like him? Horrifying. I got a cat. Cat decided it only liked my dad. Period. No exception. Well except for my dad's twin brother. Loved him as much as my dad but never confused them. This is the only human I like. Thankfully, there are two of him. My mother is one of twins. Linus, the cat I had as a child, was a complete worrier, having been traumatized at a young age and being fearful of new people, yet he was the sweetest cat to us. Linus approached my aunt as soon as she arrived and cuddled up against her leg on that occasion. He was being scratched by her, and everything was going well until he noticed my mother. Start with very fast head turns back and forth, then race up the stairs and hide for hours. Poor infant. He was definitely mind blown. So not a twin, but a daughter of one. We had a dog called Gromit, who started with my aunt and then moved in with us until her twin sister my mum. He did get confused at first when he'd seen my mum and auntie in the same room and one of them called him, but the confusion did only last for a couple of seconds. Then he would just get excited about cuddles and amp, walkies lol. My mum also had a cat called Midzi. She's a very shy cat and would hide from visitors. When my aunt went round, Midzi hid but once my mum left the room she came out and cuddled my aunt as if she was my mum. After that she bonded with both of them. Midzi now lives with my aunt ever since my mum passed away. She's managing well but does sometimes seem to wonder why there's only one of them at times. I love that your dog's name is Gromit. Removed. Could he tell who was his real owner if you wore the same clothes as your twin? My cat and my quails know my voice. They don't really care about my face. Also, I have very long hair and my sister has short hair. They didn't care more than with any other new visitor. My cat ran away and my quails came to say hi. Can you tell me about how you keep quail? I live in a suburban neighborhood and occasionally see wild quail here. They are such cool looking birds. What's it like to have them as pets? Not quite what you asked, but it reminded me of a funny anecdote I'm sure people will appreciate regardless. We had three dogs, two lab mixes and a summer yed mix, so two blacks and one white. Easy to recognize. Then one day we had to look after a friend's lab because she had to go to a job interview or something, I can't remember why. But this meant there were now three black dogs and one white. They all ran through the house past the sofa table where the cat was lounging. He didn't care about the first lab mix he knew. He didn't care about the Samoyed mix. He didn't care about the new lab. He freaked out when the elderly lab mix he'd known for over 10 years walked past him because that was one black dog too many. And people will claim animals can't count. Not a twin, an Irish twin if that helps lol, and this question reminded me of when my sister got a cat when we were roommates in our early 20s. Her cat would always meow and scratch my bedroom door to be let out early in the morning, as my sister would sleep through it. Fast forward 14 years, 
and several cities and continental moves later for me. I'm back home to see family, staying with that sister in her new house for the first time, and my first morning wake up was from her cat meowing and scratching at my bedroom door. How did she remember me, given I only had seen her once a year over the span of several years? I cried when I heard that she had to be put to sleep when she was 17. R.I.P. Sadie the cleaning lady. Sadie remembered you after all those years. Amazing. My wife is an identical twin. Our dog is very protective of the house and slow to trust new people, usually when we have guests. They are subjected to a barrage of barking and he won't tolerate them petting him for days. When my sister-in-law came for the first time my wife was not in then room and our dog was immediately super excited to meet her. Master returns level excited and very affectionate. He has never acted like that with anyone else before. At first I thought that he mistook her for my wife but he was much quicker than average to accept our parents as well so I think it's a familial smell. Deleted. Triplet here. My dog gets slightly confused at first if I've been away, like if I have to leave him with my parents and one of my sisters goes over, he thinks it's me and runs over all excited, but realizes it soon as he gets close enough to smell them, but it's not me. When I am there, he has no confusion. He knows who I am, and that my sisters aren't me. My dog had a lot of trauma and abuse before I adopted her, so it takes her a little bit to warm up to new people. Except with respect to my identical twin. She was utterly delighted to meet my twin, and my twin continues to be her second favorite person after me. When the whole family is together, and I leave for a minute, she might get confused for a few moments and think that I'm still there, because she sees my twin, but will realize her mistake and run to find me. Overall, she's not confused between the two of us but is thrilled to have a second version of me. Edit, I'm seeing a ton of comments saying that dogs identify people by scent. Which is mostly true, but my dog definitely gets confused when she's several yards away from me and or my twin. And my twin's dog, who loves everyone in the world with equal gusto, cannot say if he was is more excited to see me, has confidently trotted up to me to hit me up for food or walkies, realized his mistake, and found his mama instead. My twin brother's cat looked at me and then tried to get me to feed it a wet food breakfast again, knowing damn well it had already eaten. That's just a cat thing. Our cats would do the same thing growing up, and none of us were twins. So I'm not a twin, but my sister and I look a lot alike to the point of her random acquaintances greeting me when I'm out and about. She has a cat who is not a people person, but it does show affection to my sister. Usually the cat stays out of the way when we visit, but this one time it randomly jumped on my lap while my sister was in the kitchen. I think it knew it messed up cause we just sat there for a couple of seconds staring at each other, after which point it hurried away as fast as its little legs could carry it. Ha ha good times. I visited my twin last year and met her cat for the first time. The cat is quite skittish and will mostly stay away from new people. Despite us having different looks, hair-wise, her cat was the same around me as it was her, she wasn't scared around me, she tolerated me patting her, she even came for a snuggle in bed which was unheard of with strangers. Deleted. Lol love that you're answering this kind of as if you are your wife's pet. We both have cats. They couldn't care in the slightest. Yeah my cat does not give a shit. Not a twin but this time I visited my brother his dog was there and wanted to go outside so I put him out then my brother got home. Poor dog was so confused. If the guy getting out of the car was Greg then who is this guy that let me out of the house question mark? And he's looking back and forth. This is a kind of ask reddit stuff I love. I didn't think there would be many answers but I'm having a blast reading this thread. My sister and I don't look identical, we are, but I had birth defects that stunted my growth and I'm 6 inches shorter. We do sound alike, though, 
and whenever we video chat her dog and my cat get very confused by the same voice coming from the phone. Probably a coincidence but my neighbors are twins but one of them has Klinefelter syndrome so she has stunted growth. My dog knew both of us from when he was a puppy so I don't remember his reaction. But my sister's dog was a little confused and now doesn't love when I come over because she can't get away with anything. If I see her do something she isn't supposed to do I scold her and with two sets of eyes it's easy to spot naughty behavior. My husband's cat only loves him. It took her a good three years to actually sit on my lap or let me hold her. My husband's twin comes over for the first time and guess who sits on his lap? That bitch. My cat curled up on my twin's chest for pets while she was in bed and hissed at her while aggressively purring. She loves my cat. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary when my cat met my twin sister for the first time. Then again, he's super friendly and will glom onto anyone who gives him scratches and or treats. Nothing. Dogs go more by smell not sight. That said our dogs, we each have two, go crazy for the other twin. I think BC our voices and mannerisms are so much alike. When she comes to visit my little velcro dog, who never leaves my side, ditches me the whole time she's here, for days, he sleeps with her and everything. This is getting out of hand, now there are two of them. She began a sinewy bifurcation and eventually became two identical dogs, albeit slightly smaller than before. We both have cats. All three got wide-eyed, and acted way less shy than they typically would. I'm sure they were like okay, two moms. I'm an identical twin. My brother is called Scott. We look exactly alike except we have our hair different and dress differently. Scott lives at my house in the states as a permanent home but I often travel with my husband. Once or twice a year, for a month or so, sometimes longer. My husband is European and his family come from three different countries so we stay a while to see everyone. Scott and my sister look after our dogs when we go, and are both happy about it. We don't make them lol. Most of our dogs know us separately by smell but there was one time where we came back after two months traveling. My hair was a mess from the flight. I had spilt coffee on my pants so had to get Scott to lend me some clean clothes when he picked us up from the airport. He keeps a spare set in his car for emergencies cause sometimes it requires him to stay overnight some places. So, all in all, I looked exactly like him and smelt like him to cause I was wearing his clothes. When we got back to the house, the dogs just kept sniffing us both like. There's two of him had us laughing for ages. Our oldest dog, Diego was very confused. Kept looking back and forth and barking. They didn't calm down until I had a shower and changed. So my friend is an identical twin and this is one of her favorite stories. I don't see her here in the comments to tell so I'll do it, sorry not sorry. Twin lives on a farm in a rural area and manages a colony of feral cats, TNR and feeding them in lean times etc. She was trying to trap a particular cat and kept getting this other cat, repeatedly, which is also a story and a half but I'm not telling it. Said cat was therefore dubbed sad cat and tamed in relatively short order and moved into twin's house. When friend would visit, sad cat would assume whoever she saw first was twin, and whoever walked in the room next was other. Even if it was friend in the room first, twin would be other and sad cat would only like friend and run away from twin. In due course, sad cat came to live with friend and has become a very adorable kitty once she warms up to new people. Snook. Do not hug your identical twin sister from behind and look over her shoulder at her baby while breastfeeding. Mommy has two heads. Not a twin. But I'm guessing twins must smell different to dogs. My cousins are twins and they smell just like dogs. We need more hard hitting important questions like this to be asked. It's these sorts of questions that make us credit great. Lmao what a good question. Yeah if anyone ever asks why this sub exists, this right here is the answer. So my identical twin brother is trans. 
looks and smells like a man. But he's enough like me that my pets warm up to him quickly. And I'm enough like him that his pets warm up to me. I'm a twin. Not identical but get mistaken to be a lot. I used to have a pet mouse that would run to bite anyone who put their hand in his enclosure, except for me. When my sister saw him for the first time, he didn't bite her when she went to pick him up from his house. I don't think mice have very good eyesight so I don't think it's because we look similar, maybe we smell similar. Surely even identical twins smell different. Dogs know us apart. Our little children struggle with it but as they grow, it's easier. My best friend has an identical twin. My dog loves her and flips out whenever she visits. Recently she moved away, but then her twin was in town and asked to come by and visit. My dog was excited to see her outside on the driveway but immediately knew it wasn't her when she came inside. Sniffed her like crazy and was very polite but she knew that wasn't her auntie. I've had several cats who were very shy around anyone but my husband and me. Some would eventually emerge from their hiding places after company had been here for a few hours, and some would not emerge until the next morning, lol. But whenever my identical twin came for a visit, it was the same to them as if I had just walked into the house. Even my shyest kitty stayed put on the sofa. They weren't the least bit standoffish around her. By the same token, my twin had a cat who stuck to my twin like glue, but just hated everyone else. Woe betide anyone who tried to pet her. My twin's cat was fine with me, though. She let me pet her and scratch her just like my sister would. None of our cats ever acted confused around both of us. They just somehow seemed to realize we were identical twins and if it was okay to be around one, it was okay to be around the other. I'm pretty sure animals recognize people due to smell or voice, not looks. One time I was wearing my mom's jacket and her dog followed me around until I said something and she realized I wasn't my mom so she ran off to go find her. My twin's dogs could tell us apart from the first second. Her son, however, could not. He ran up to me saying mommy, mommy I said I'm not your mommy, and he ran away crying. Not my proudest moment. Dogs and some other animals will tell who it is by scent when they are close enough. My dog can detect a familiar person from a stranger at about 150 yards away if the wind is right. And she tells me. If it is my oldest on the way, she is jumping and turning circles in happiness. This is a favorite person. If it is people she enjoys, she does the same, with medium enthusiasm. For people she has met, she sits and faces them and wags. If it is a person we don't know, she stands with her hackles raised just a bit. She keeps looking at me to see if I notice it is a new person. When I tell her it is okay, she sits. If I say, who is it? She runs out to explore, and comes back. My great Peridain met my twin through the gate. At first was very excited to see mommy but when he caught the smell he growled at her and his hair stood up he was so confused lol but caught on after of course what we didn't expect was the cats to turn on her. They are apparently very unforgiving, especially wobbles. You know, having a wife who's an identical twin, the pets, to cats, jaff. But the kids. The kids automatically run to the aunt when they are really little and see them, and get super confused. Staring at them like you look like mom, but you aren't my mom. What is this black magic shit's great? Owned a border collie growing up. A psych dog, super smart. When my dad's twin visited for the first time, she ran up to him until she could smell him then froze and slunk back to the corner and hid there. She stayed there and watched the two of them the whole night very carefully. My fish didn't seem to mind. I have a twin brother and we look and sound the exact same, voice, style of clothes everything. But I have 5 dogs and I can tell whenever he comes over they for sure don't get us confused. Somehow they can tell. My dog was really confused, she saw him and ran to him excitedly, tail wagging and all. She got to him and turned sitting at his feet, made direct eye contact with me, 
and ran back, tail wagging excitedly, and repeated for about 5 minutes and just laid down in between us in the end.